East Perth's finals chances have suffered a serious blow after their derby loss to West Perth at HBF Arena on Monday. The waffle round of the match capped off the league's long weekend of footy and also saw skipper Paul Johnson celebrate his 100th game for the club. The Royals were competitive in the first quarter, hitting West Perth hard. Fraser McInnes booted the Royals first for the quarter, but accuracy would be an ongoing problem for East Perth throughout the match. The Falcons' ability to hit key targets and accuracy in front of goal gave them a 10-point lead a quarter time. Royals X-Factor forward Jared Oakley-Nichols hit the gas in the second with a couple of quick goals. Mitch Brown and Patrick McGinnity were impressive around the ball for the Royals, but West Perth kept coming, taking advantage of fewer scoring opportunities and winning contested balls. The third term was a slow and scrappy affair for both sides, but the Falcons managed to boot two goals in just under five minutes. In a disappointing quarter for the Royals, ever-reliable defender Tom Barras starred at full-back, proving his vitality to the East Perth side. By the end of the third, it was clear the Royals had grown frustrated after being kept goalless. With their finals chances on the line, East Perth coach Jamie Graham took no safe options for the final quarter, putting Ruckman Paul Johnson and defender Tom Barras up forward. Barras may be a secret weapon up forward for the Royals in future games, finishing with a much-deserved best-on-ground performance. Yet again, poor kicking efficiency cost East Perth. But it was West Perth's day to shine, taking out the game by 31 points for their sixth consecutive win of the season. East Perth have a bye this week and now sit three games out of the top five. They return to Medibank Stadium on the 18th of June to take on the Perth Demons.